guys and welcome back to the UK Card Club. Today we are going to be reviewing the Dark Deco deck. Now this is uh, a bit of a different one for me. It's, it's, it's got this custom custom designed playing card but there is no uh, designer mark. So it says manufactured by the United States Playing Card Company but it doesn't actually say designed by whom or for who or for what purpose whether it was a Kickstarter deck, an original deck, it was a United States Playing Card Company deck. Uh, that information is not written on there. I'm presuming it was released by United States Playing Card Company, but just the fact it says custom designed playing cards makes me think otherwise. It's got a quite cool black and white theme with a steampunk looking guy here with a little pocket watch there. Looking at the backs, very nice. I like the black and white contrast. I like it. it just looks very, very nice. I'm going to crack this deck open and we can have a look inside. I'm notoriously bad at getting decks open, so I apologise. Probably because the sound of that crunching paper would have just gone over my voice while I'm speaking. Um, try and get the seal cut neatly. isn't going to happen apparently so we have that so let's open this up for Bill so these were possibly custom designed for Bill now who Bill is I don't know um, I'm just going to put this to the side do what I do with all of my tack cases I'm just going to of cut flick, tuck the sticky bit out of the way so it doesn't stick to the cards, and get out the second joker that I left in the box. So we have the two jokers here, They're very sort of almost anime, a bit futuristic looking. This one's got the seven of hearts written on it. Um, we have a blank face, we have a double back, and we are into the deck. So let's move these out of the way, and we can have a look. So, very steampunky. It's a guy in like a pilot's helmet, sitting on like a coal fire. Yeah, I'm trying to work out what it is. I can't really tell. It's almost like an oven with like an exhaust pipe it looks like a smoking gun it's pretty cool oh yeah that's nice it's like paint spatter oh i love it feels really really sort of ominous and almost handmade feels pretty cool the royalty looks pretty awesome very steampunky so very yes, steampunk esque. Continues on with the diamonds, the blood spatter look. Looks a lot more like blood in red, obviously. It's pretty cool. Again, these look like they could be characters from like Overwatch or something like that. It's a very steampunk, very cool, quite futuristic. Almost it reminds me a little bit of like Fallout. You know, like the game where you're in the sort of in the future and everything's made from like old parts and again that's just yeah really cool really nice uh, i wasn't overly enthusiastic when i saw the box i mean i like the look of them i thought the guy on the front looked pretty cool but i didn't realize that the the whole deck would be continuing in this this just awesome theme um yeah let's have a look at the back Yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's just, it's just so nice. Um, it's almost written like a, what I would describe as like a Wild West font. Yeah, really impressed with these. They've got the standard, you know, USPCC air cushion finish. Um, and they're just a really nice deck. 
So I'd like to know a bit more about, you know, who these were custom designed for. And, well, with it saying for Bill, I'd like to know who Bill is. So I might try and look that up, find a bit more information about them. But yeah, I'm, I really like them. They're going to be uh, up there in some of my favourite cards. Very happy. Well, thank you for watching, guys. And uh, catch you next time when we'll be reviewing something else. Take care.